Welcome back. Hurricane expert Dr. Lyons joining us now. And Steve, again, we've been watching this thing intensifying all night. Further intensification, probably likely. What about the folks on the uh, Gulf Coast as we uh, gain latitude here in time? How fearful should they be? Well, they should be monitoring very carefully and uh, do what emergency managers mm -hmm. tell them to do. But uh, it's not uh, a Category 3 on the coast until it gets there. Okay. Uh, here's the latest information, and it is a Category 3 now. And if you're in the Isle of Youth in Cuba, uh, it's going to be really bad news for you there in the next uh, few hours. Now, let me show you an example of uh, what's going on here. There's some very shallow water up here on the, on the south coast of Cuba in here. So a surge is going to be coming in there. It's already rising now, probably, and it'll probably peak later tonight, and that'll devastate these low-lying areas in here. Fortunately, I don't think anybody lives in there. It's going to cross Cuba and go into the Gulf of Mexico, and it's quite possible it'll be stronger at 11 and even stronger than that by 5 o'clock, maybe temporarily uh, weakening over land and getting into the Gulf of Mexico. It could potentially reach Category 4, but the thing that matters is how strong it is when it gets to the United States coastline for you. Here's a circulation on close-up. There's a well-defined eye. There's the eye wall. There's the Isle of Youth, and there's that shallow uh, area in there where surge is very prone. So that's going to be devastating those portions. The good news is Grand Cayman Island is, is going to be improving weather-wise over the next few hours, and they didn't get a direct hit. Okay, now it comes up here, and as it comes toward the coast, every credible hurricane model we have now takes it west, west of New Orleans. Uh, so uh, the best track we have here is central Louisiana. We're slightly west of there. And now we're starting to see that a lot of the models are sliding at west either right on the coast and a couple of them are sliding at west just off the coast. So those of you in Lake Charles and, of course, Intercoastal City and Franklin are probably closest to the, the point of landfall. However, if it comes up on the north side here and then turns more west, a large portion of the surge could still come in along the Mississippi and Louisiana coast, eastern Louisiana coastline over the next day or two. So we'll continue to monitor this, especially when it gets into the Gulf of Mexico. In the meantime, watch out for rain bands and potential for water spouts there in the Florida Keys the next 12 hours. We've got another problem here, Tropical Storm Hannah. It's north of land now. It's heading west, and it'll continue to head west or west-northwest. It's going to strengthen as it goes in that general direction. And the track here looks a little bit funny or even silly to some degree, but what's going to happen, we think, is it's going to come over here and it'll probably do a loop or two over the central Bahamas and then potentially hook back toward Florida. So you're not off the hook here yet, or if it lingers too long, it could go up the eastern seaboard. So this could be an uh, east coast landfall as well. In the meantime, we're monitoring one low pressure center off of Africa.